Hi guys, Mike here, and I'm going to show you how to build a sliding frame door. So, let's get started. So, first you're going to need your power source. So, a few solar panels should do. And these are the blue electric solar panels. And that is going to power the frame movers. Um, I'm going to get a screwdriver here. Here we go. There. Okay. So we're going to want this guy to point the other way. Um, I just end. Now we're going to want to plug this in. Like that. This is probably going to want to move back a bit. So that doesn't get crushed by the door. There we go. And we're going to want to run it underneath here. To the other uh, set of frame motors. Yes, they're called frame motors. Perfect. Um, boom. Okay, so we've got the frame motors down. Now I gotta put our frames. So this is gonna be the open state, so it needs to be like this. I'll put some insulators on there. These are support frames and these are wooden plank covers. And we want to put them where we don't want stuff to attach. So, which is all around here. So, nothing's going to attach on that. And we're going to want to find a block to make our door out of. There we go. And we're also going to want to put it on this side too. So the frame is going to touch the, any of the blocks that it's touching without a cover in between. So all those blocks it's going to be attached to, and we don't want it to attach to the other half of the drawer. So we'll get rid of that. And these just so it doesn't like rip up your house if you're gonna put this in a house. Okay there now let's get some reverse the testis. Okay, so oh, oh I forgot one thing. We need a bat box. A battery box actually. This one right here. Okay, it's charged now. I got a bunch more solar panels. You don't need this many, but it just so that it charges faster in this case. So the door is two blocks, you can see here. So if we clip that once and twice, the door will be open. So we're going to want to do this one. Actually, don't forget to put the covers on just, just in case. There we go. So now we got one half of the door fully functional. So let's work on the other half now. So same idea. I want to put some like this. And put covers anywhere where we don't need a block attached. So that it doesn't destroy any. Oops, that does not go there. Does not destroy any unnecessary destruction. And there we go. And do this too. Okay, now we'll get our iron blocks. I don't think you had to put one there, but I'm mean, just do it for the sake of creative mode. There. Okay. Let's try these ones out. Perfect. They both work. And now we're going to want to put some... Oops. 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 There we go. Now I want to cover this up. 
Now on to the programming part. Okay, I'm ready for the next part here. So we got our central processing unit, monitor, disk drive, I.O. expander, and ribbon cable. Our bundled cable, orange insulated wire, white insulated wire. This is what we're going to need for the next step. So we're going to want to put our CPU, our disk drive on top of it. Oh, sorry, that's our monitor disk drive on top of it. And then we're going to want to put our I.O. expander here. Um, let's actually turn that around. Like that. There we go. So the I.O. expander there. Perfect. Um, now we're going to not need that. We're going to want to hook these up with ribbon cables. This is already connected. And then we'll put a wall here. And we can put our monitor in this wall. We'll have to put the ribbon cable on the side here because it's too close. But it'll still work. Um, we're going to need a disk. We're going to want a floppy disk and a fourth boot disk. The fourth boot disk goes in there. And you're going to want to click start. There we go. And there we go. This is mine OS. Um, okay, so now we're going to want to hook up our IO expander. So you're going to hook it up like so. So basically, you can. This is what is this. What this is doing is making it so that your computer can output redstone signals through these bundled cables, like this. There. So if we type in, uh, let me just double check. Yeah, if we type in 2 IOX in capitals for IO expander and then an exclamation mark, it brought them in one because it sent a pulse to those ones. So we're going to want to shut off that signal. So we're going to want to do 0 IOX so there's no signal coming out. If we do it one more time, oops, you always got to remember to put the Exclamation mark or it won't work. Oh, that time it didn't decide decided not to work. Okay. Let's just double check. Um oh I see what happened. And then zero IOX. Oh, I must have closed it. <laughs> Okay, let me figure out what's going on here. Okay, after the computer's up and running, we're going to want to type in uh, 0 IOX. 0 is to make sure everything is shut off, and IOX is for IO expander, and, the X, and you need the exclamation mark there. So that's not going to do anything. And well, if we put in 1 IOX exclamation mark, oops, that was the wrong way, uh, shut it off, do 2 IOX shut it off, and then let's do two again, there you go, you can see in the corner of the screen it just opened, or closed a little bit, zero IOX, two IOX, zero IOX, and that's how the program is going to work, but this is not hooked up properly. There must not be enough power. Oh yeah, there's definitely enough power. Okay, let me figure out the problem. Okay, I found the problem. We always gotta remember to put our covers on there. It's not gonna work. So now if we type in to IOX, that one should move. This one, it's not connected to the pusher anymore. So only the side will move. So we do zero. Oh. 0 IOX, 2 IOX, 0 IOX, there you go, so the door's closed. So if we do 1 IOX, 
then both of them open at the same time. Uh, so just make sure it's open all the way. Oops. One ILS exclamation mark zero. ILS exclamation mark. There. So now we will get into writing the programs. Okay, now to write the program. So we're going to want to, first of all, make sure everything is shut off. Then we're going to want to, oh, sorry, to write the program, we got to do colon, space, the name of the program, which is going to be close. And then we will start writing it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is do zero. Uh, IOX exclamation mark to make everything make sure everything shut off. Wait ten ticks, and then um, close it. Two is the closing um, motor, and then we'll do ten ticks again. And we're gonna want to do uh, make, and then shut it off again. 10 ticks and then turn it back on and wait another 10 ticks and then shut everything off so first it's making sure everything's off then this one is moving at one this is moving at the second one and we just gotta add 0 iox exclamation mark and then enter and then a semicolon semicolon this is a colon so you want to do a semicolon and then we hit enter okay so if we type in close now okay I found out the problem you guys are probably yelling at me through the screen but I spelt close wrong and I was typing it in right down here so um, if I do type it in wrong, like I did before, C L, oh, it can't be in capitals, C O L S E, enter, then the doors will close properly. So now we will write the other program. So, same, it's basically the same thing, but all the twos will be ones. And I'm going to spell it right this time. So we'll do colon, space, open. Enter and then we'll do uh, zero ilx exclamation mark. I see in capitals uh, ten ticks. One ilx exclamation ilx exclamation mark like that. Yep, and then ten ticks and then zero ilx exclamation mark. It's pretty tedious doing this, but it is pretty cool in the end. Okay, so this is off, this is one, and then one IOX exclamation mark, ten ticks, zero IOX exclamation mark, so off, one, uh, two. So perfect. So then we want to do our semicolon, enter, and then let's just make it day here. We type in open one two. Perfect. So you're gonna want to take your now you're gonna want to take your floppy disk, not the fourth boot disk, but the floppy disk. You want to click on your uh, uh, disk drive with that. And in capitals, you're going to want to do save, quotation mark, space, door, control, control, did that do it? Yep, yeah, I think it did. Okay, so if we click on here, we should get a disk, here it is, door controller. So if we get a fresh new computer here, okay, so I got a totally new computer here, um, has no memory of what we just did, all of it is on this floppy disk here. So uh, basically what, has, what we do 
Uh, we needed the fourth boot disk in there to start it before. But this guy here, it has the fourth uh, boot on it. And plus our program. So if we just throw that in there. Click start. A little red light will turn on. And then it'll s before it said 600 or 500 bytes free. But now it says a little bit less because we made the program on it. So we type in close. So we spelled that wrong. It doesn't matter. And you can see in the corner of the screen that it closed. And if we do open, then our door will open. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for more Tuckit tutorials. And if you haven't already, go check out my channel. And yeah, thank you for watching.